Revelers filled the streets of downtown Fairhope tonight, thrilled to celebrate without worry of spiking COVID cases and ready to welcome another holiday season. And with that countdown, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in Fairhope. Tonight's tree lighting ceremony had a special feeling for many of the thousands who gathered downtown. Last year, the city had to adjust the event to encourage social distancing and prevent the rapid spread of coronavirus. The holiday season last year, everyone was kind of cautious and weary about some people were getting the vaccine, others weren't. So the fact that everyone's out enjoying holiday festivities is amazing. Kimberly Ragland and Hannah Edwards are nurses. They say this was a chance to enjoy time with family and feel a sense of normality as COVID case numbers remain low and vaccination rates increase. This is actually my first year here, so we're just really looking forward to all of it. I have a four year old who's really excited to see all the all the fun things going on. And there was plenty for the kids to enjoy. Last year, children had to take pictures with Mrs. Claus separated by plexiglass, but not this year. Also returning tonight, letters to Santa, a favorite activity for many little ones. To be able to have these kind of gatherings again means the world to our community and especially to those small local businesses. Many of those businesses struggled through the last two years, but they weren't hurting for guests tonight. But to be able to have this and kick off the holidays in downtown Fairhope, just with the traditions that everybody's used to, it's so important to us and so important to the people who live here in the community. The crowds are typically huge for Fairhope's tree lighting ceremony, but a quick glance at the crowds shows the turnout here tonight may have outdone them all. In Fairhope tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.